Hello everyone, I'm George. Today I'm gonna teach you guys five things only Japanese people do. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get started. <laughs> Japanese people have unique reactions like <laughs> You can say this when you are surprised or shocked. And as far as I know, only Japanese people do this. Let me give you another five examples. If you can do this properly, you can be genuine Japanese. Japanese people tend to apologize so much. It's because we try to avoid all kinds of conflict. And also, apologizing is considered a virtue in Japan. Apologies show that a person takes responsibility and avoids blaming others. When Japanese people apologize, we say sumimasen, it means I'm sorry. Or you can say suimasen, it means sorry, like this. Why the hell did you eat my sushi, man? Sumimase, I was starving. Holy crap, man, I've been looking forward to eating sushi today, man. Sumimase, it was delicious. And also, when apologizing, we often bow. The more you feel sorry, the more you deeply bow. And then we say, Sumimasen deshita. Sumimasen deshita. Like this. Sumimasen deshita! For example, when you want to express your thoughts saying no or no thanks, you can do like this. Would you like sushi? Ah, dajoubu desu. Like this. And also, please look at this guy. He refused banana with this gesture. <laughs> and next example is this. This means, excuse me. I have a funny story that I heard from my uncle. Which is many years ago, my uncle went to the US with my grandpa and grandma. And they went to see baseball game in Texas. And they had a seat and a few minutes later, my grandpa said, I want to go to the restroom. Then he left. But even after like 20 or 30 minutes, he didn't come back. So my uncle thought he might be lost in this huge stadium. So my uncle went to the restroom to look for him and a few minutes later, finally found him. And when my uncle found my grandpa, he was doing like this. So again, this means excuse me, right? There is a guy in front of my grandpa, but he was talking with his friends, so he didn't realize that there is my grandpa behind him. And also, the guy was actually blocking the aisle, so my grandpa couldn't go through that small aisle. My grandpa didn't speak English well, but he didn't even try to say or do anything. Just all he was doing was this chop gesture, saying excuse me for 20 minutes. So my uncle went to him and said excuse me to that blocking guy, right? And finally, my grandpa was able to go to the restroom. I believed this story was just made up by my uncle, but unfortunately, it turned out that was a true story. I'll teach you three Japanese table manners. We place our hands together to pay our respects to the food before and after the meal. Before the meal, we say itadakimasu. After the meal, we say gochisou sama deshita. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is the proper manner in Japan. That makes appeal worse with bad posture and will make the experience unpleasant for those eating around you. But after the meal, of course, you can do whatever you want. As you guys might know that customer service is exceptional here in Japan. Actually, I used to work at a supermarket called Tokyo Store when I was a university student. So I'll show you how I actually used to work there. いらっしゃいませ。こちらお預かりいたします。ピッピッピ。こちらは500円になります。こちら成価お預かりいたします。ポイントカードをお持ちでしょうか。ポイントカードお預かりいたします。ピ。こちらお貸しになります。こちら成
This is great example of professional customer service in Japan. But actually, I accidentally found a guy who is providing number one customer service in Japan. No matter how much I strive, I can't beat him for sure. I'll show you the video. <laughs> Alright, that's all. Anyway, in conclusion, Japanese people tend to avoid all kinds of conflict at all costs. We don't want to hurt anyone. Just be polite, stay peace, stay happy. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Arigatou gozaimashita! Have a good day! Bye!